Good morning, friends. Do you all recognize the person in this picture? Any guesses? Okay, I will tell you. He's the great Thomas Alva Edison. Do you know what he is known for? In 1879, he invented the first long-lasting electric bulb. And since then, our home is bright and even after sunset. Do we rely on electricity like we do for food and water? What would life be like without electricity to power your favorite video games, TV shows and etc. Just imagine without electricity you wouldn't be able to enjoy the tiny wonders of the day. As you all are aware of the fact that home lights are also operated with the help of electricity. And also other appliances like TV, refrigerator, flashlights are all operated with the help of electricity. Now let's discuss how the word electricus came into picture. An English physician William Gilbert used the Latin word electricus to describe the force that any certain substances exert when they rub against each other. Let me show you an example. Take a scale, take the paper, rub it, tear it into small pieces. Take the skin, wrap it on the head and as you can see the paper is attracted to the skin because of the force. Now let's discuss about the scientist named Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin ran his famous kite experiment that sparked the discovery of electricity. Benjamin Franklin took a key, tied it to a kite and during a thunderstorm and proved that lightning and electricity were the same. Later on, other scientists contributed for further research on electricity. Thomas Alva Edison says that when electricity flows into a filament, the filament heats up enough and begins to grow and thus we have light. Thomas Alva Edison faced a lot of hurdles in his experiment. He used copper, metal and other filaments but all got overheated and exploded. Finally, he succeeded using carbon filament. Mm. There are two types of electricity, static and dynamic. Now let's discuss on static electricity. A battery is an example of an static electricity. Electric energy is stored in a battery. Um, it helps to power up electric toys, alarms and etc. Um, as you can see in the battery, there is a plus and a minus sign. The plus sign denotes cathode. The minus sign denotes anode. Due to the chemical reaction, the anode builds up electrons. When the electrons move to cathode, it begins to glow and thus we have light. Uh, now let's discuss on star dynamic electricity. As the name itself describes that it's a moving electricity. Tubet is an example of an dynamic electricity. It's difficult to imagine the world without electricity. We should thank all the scientists who helped invent electricity. Thank you.